What's up, Bombies? It's your girl, Bombshell, back with another video. I hope you're feeling beautiful, looking beautiful, feeling handsome, looking handsome, me and myself. I'm feeling bomb. Ah, gratitude for the love, you guys. What we're getting into is Bill Burr roasts Kevin Hart on his own podcast. Ooh, and I ooh. make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Join the Bombies below. Oh, follow me on IG, too, at Bombshell Aura. Boop. Okay, let's get into this video. Let's get into this roast, excuse me. True friend. Today's guest is a true friend, a real brother. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, called me since 2003. You you shut up, Bill. People don't know that. This is Bill Burr. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, I'm Bill Burr. Now, Kevin Hart was somebody that I thought I was friends with, but I realized quickly that he just needed a spot at Dangerfields. <laughs> and then he booked a pilot, and I don't think I talked to him again. I had like kids, and I didn't hear from you. Bill Burr, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to the mind he of Bill we Burr. We're waiting for his own podcast. Bill, are you ready for this? This is the best part that I think. This is this is what's mind blowing that people are going to love. Bill Burr. You have your, your your own name on your fucking sweatshirt. Well, outside of that, I mean, I don't know why you don't. When are you going to stop We know who you are. Just in case you didn't, Bill, I wore a shirt to remind you. What's the big fucking deal, man? All right, it's Part just a hoodie with Kevin Hart. I hand out <laughs> hoodies to homeless people because I care about downtown LA. Go see Jumanji Part 19. <laughs> The studio system has ruined you. <laughs> Bill, Bill is not angry, first of all, to our listeners. Bill is not an angry person. Bill is a very happy person. Bill is a married man. He's a father now. Congrats on that, Bill, by I the way. I got two kids. I had another one. I was going to call you, but I knew you wouldn't return the call. No. <laughs> I don't think my last movie did well enough to have you send over your little heart of the city fruit basket. You picked Bill. What are you talking about? I would have sent you a bottle of heart wine from the vineyard. What are you talking about, man? I told you. <laughs> it would have got there. Bill, I can, love we tell, you have a can we tell the people, do Bill, that you and I... Do you get out there and stomp on the grapes? Yeah, I do. So fuck off. I do. Uh, Bill and I did a pilot, ladies and gentlemen. We did a pilot for Comedy Central. It was called Heart of the Shitty, and it wasn't picked up. <laughs> yeah, this is, yes, let me clear this up. This is before I got big. This is before I got big. Bill and I did a show. It was. You were like... It was right before. No, you were already starting to blow up. And I remember there, there was a moment where we were actually going to tour together. We were going to yeah. do a black and white tour because I was almost ready to go to theaters. You had just started going to theaters. And then a week later, you went to arenas. And that that's when you stopped calling me. No, that, no, no. That's no. when it was. Fake. I stopped calling you after the show got, after the show didn't get picked up because I felt like you fucked me. I said that. I said, Bill Burr, you fuck going me. up to the clubs until four in the morning and then showing up thinking you're going to Eddie Murphy your way through it and start improvising. Ooh. You took that whole thing down with you. I'm still bitter about it. <laughs> Bill, I would love you're if we could get our hands. opportunity hand. to get screwed over by Viacom. Do you think I'm willing to bet you, Bill, I can probably get my hands on that pilot? I'm willing to bet you I can, man. I would love to get my hands on that fucking pilot just for you and I. Cause we can't show it. We can't do shit How with it. How much fun was it? I'm fucking around, but Bruce McCullough, you and me, dude, that was so much goddamn fun. I will, I will say this, man. Bill Burr, for those who do not know it, uh, lately, as of late, I mean, Bill, you, you're just, you're popping up all over the place as far as acting. But the the Staten Island movie, what's his name? With Pete Davidson. What's the title of it, Bill? I don't know. It was called uh, Jumanji Part. Uh, it wasn't called yeah. Jumanji. That's my movie. What oh, the sorry. fuck was it called, man? Uh, Get Hard. <laughs> wasn't that's another oh, one of no. my movies, Bill? Wait, I get the it. The King I'll of Staten it. Island. Uh, Soul Plane with White. Fuck off. Feet. That's those are my United movies. United Airlines. <laughs> God damn it! He said United Airlines. What was it okay. called, Bill? It's called The King of Staten Island. The King of Staten Island. Judd right? Apatow and Pete Davidson. Judd Apatow, who ruined my friendship with you because you you booked his pilot and I never heard from you again. <laughs> left me, Kev. <laughs> Bill, I'm going to say in this movie, you did what I knew back then when we did that pilot, man. Bill has always been a fucking... You've been a phenomenal comedic actor. And you know they say that we don't have it. They say as comedians, comedians can't... We can't make the transition. A lot of comedians fail Who in making that? that transition. I mean, a lot Who of people that say specifically? That. Who Don't said put it? Donald uh, Trump on me. Don't start telling me that people are saying shit. I well, want to listen, back. what they're doing, I'm telling you what they're saying. Everybody knows it. You know <laughs> what? I know it. Everybody, everybody knows it. That's my favorite thing. I use that now on my wife. You know everybody. it? I know it. Everybody knows everybody. it. Everybody knows it. What are you saying? People say it. 
People fucking say it. Everybody, Everybody says, says it. it. You Everybody. Know it. I know it. Everybody says it. They've said the comedians couldn't act for years. But Bill Burr, you cracked the code. You cracked the fucking code, man. And back then when we did that pilot, the reason why I bought up you during the King of Staten Island because you did a fucking phenomenal job in that movie. But back when we did that pilot is when I got to see, I was like, yo, Bill can actually fucking act. Mm. Bill's good. Because I was coming in, like you said, with the improv and I'm coming in with all this shit. And not once were you ever flustered. You were never bothered by it. I was annoyed, and I just used that. If you you were like going out, to, I don't whatever the hell you were going out to sky bar every damn night. You, you said one do. of the funniest things ever to me on that pilot. It was in between takes. You know, before I shaved my head, I was losing it back here, and they'd come in doing all this <laughs> stuff. You said, you said, Bill looks like a fighter in between rounds when we were in between takes. Everybody coming in, it was. <laughs> Out of all the shit people ever talked, I'm not saying it as funny as you said it, but that was one of my favorite things. You know, comedians, we love to get trashed. So that was one of my fav favorite things anybody ever said to me. I, I, still I, remember that. I can say during that pilot, you and I, we had a fucking amazing time. We had a blast. And the show actually came out good. The show was funny. Of course, things don't work because they just don't work. But the show was fucking funny, man. And it's the last thing oh, that people would expect to did, see. Though? Which part? Well, what? We, because we niced it up. <laughs> yeah. What we wanted <laughs> to do. What, what was going to happen? You were going to have a drinking problem, and I was going to have something, but we weren't we wanted to have edgy. pilot. Yes. So we did a nicer version of it. You, me, and Bruce. And I go, yes, okay, man, right. once we get the audience, then we'll start getting darker. Then we'll go edgy. dark. Yeah. We'll give them exactly what they want. For now? Yeah, let's give it to them now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no way this isn't getting picked up. It has to. What are you talking about? You, me, Bird, look at this. We're right on the cusp. We're, We're about to give them what they want. And then they told us to go they, fuck they ourselves. Fucking gave us a big boot. That's what they did. Big boot. Big we got boot. the old industry boot. Bill Burr uh, from Boston, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know it. Uh, suburbs. But, Safe uh, suburbs of Boston. Not good for the hot things. The suburbs of Boston. Suburbs. They, know, they, the they don't make movies about where I'm from. Where, where, what part is it exactly, Bill? It's the South Shore, Canton, Massachusetts. I know South Shore. I'm very the familiar South Shore with Music Circus? I mean, I know what the fuck it is. I've been there. I've been around that part. I didn't hear anybody mention you when I was there either. But we'll talk about that off farm. Were you uh, just doing some road work? Were you like jogging down the street with your hands wrapped? While you fucking around? I hmm? swear to God I was. It's when we you know what was funny about you one time? Intelligence. I, remember you, I remember you trying to show me how fast you were boxing. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, Kev, I'm a 40-year-old white comedian. Like, this is not impressive. You should be able to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not you doing anything for for your listeners, we were in some stupid parking lot, and he's going, I'm fast. <laughs> doing all this stuff. I'm just like, all right, Kev, you're fast. I get it. You almost seem taller when you're doing that, Kev. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, I remember, man, I don't think there's anybody that I can annoy more than Bill Burr. I have, I have probably triggered some of Bill Burr's angriest reactions in the New York oh, City no, comedy club. No. No. I'm talking about of annoyance. I remember no. Bill, you were when we were teasing no. you one More day. More than Patrice? No. No, Patrice. Patrice used to piss you. More than Keith? No. Patrice. All right, I you're like right. Patrice. I was probably in fourth, or fifth no. place. No, you yeah. were. You came in quick. You Patrice came in definitely. Quick. Patrice used to get you. Patrice right. used to get you for sure. If Patrice oh, Pat got I, you. I never worried about you, but Patrice, <laughs> if I knew he was going to be there, I would have like five things to say about him. Like I came in like locked and loaded just to, to try and hit him. Until and this I, day, and then, I, then I would I would be I'd say all five in the first minute, and then I was fucked. You know what, man? Until this day, I still don't understand how a funeral happened and they turned it into a comedy club. Until this day, Patrice O'Neill. How they turned it oh, that in. That funeral was great. That was one I of mean, the best shows it, I've ever been to. I've never I've never seen anything like that. In my life, you know, for our listeners, you Patricia bugged me at the funeral. You bugged me. I did. I bugged. She showed did. up. You were wearing like a pair of Jordan ones. You look like you're going to do a spot at Caroline's. I'm like, that's why I said, okay, this is a funeral, man. You're dressed like you're going to go do a spot at State Up New York. And you, this is what you said. You go, no, Bill, I'm dressed like the comic who made it. <laughs> he said that at a funeral. I was like, I know this guy's an asshole. I didn't know he's that much of an asshole. Damn. You almost had me saying, 
Well, I played Carnegie Hall one time. I almost <laughs> said that at a funeral for my friend. That's how much of an asshole you are. <laughs> what the fuck? We went to Patrice O'Neill's funeral. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we had so many comedians. First of all, Patrice was one of the most loved guys, I mean, on the scene. All like right, he, let's not throw too much. He was also one of the most hated, too. Yes, but he was a comics comic. He was a comics comic. The comics loved cool. him. If you were funny, you loved him. Yes. If you weren't funny, you hated him because he let you know that you you stood no chance in this business. He oh, would if you weren't you, funny, you stopped working the village because that's yes. where he was. You stayed uptown. You didn't want any problems with that because he was the no. guy to go, ugh, this guy, ugh, ugh, God, who let, ugh. I remember dude. Eddie If one time said, dude, he goes, some nights I'll walk into the cellar and he'll yell across the room, hey, Eddie, and he goes, and I think, ugh. He saw me. <laughs> dudes like that used to come into the upstairs of the olive tree, and they used to try to pick the first open seat to just, you know, slink in and stay away from them. That's all. We hope you had a... Oh, my God, them too. Bill is always funny. I like Bill. I like Bill. Like and subscribe. Put anything else with Bill or Kevin Hart in the comments, you guys, and I'll see you next video. Bye, Bombies.